Okay, we're out here and uh, not too far from Worldwide Headquarters and we're going to be testing out these uh, BTEC V1s, which are GMRS certified. And uh, we have upgraded them, haven't we, Chris, to the Nagoya antennas? Yeah. yeah, we've got the bigger antennas, so that will give us more than average range. But we've got one of these back at base station as well. And we're going to be testing simplex and then also the extra range that the repeater gives us. Right, because we expect to go miles for the repeater. But these are probably going to get us out yeah, maybe two and a half, three miles, something. Right now we're about a half a mile down the road, but we just want to begin the testing. That was our two meter repeater. We're going to start doing some of our testing with these handhelds without the aid of the repeater so we can see about here in the country how far we can get out. That's right. So that's what's coming up next on El Cara Ham Radio. Whiskey Radio Delta Hotel 605 Now, this is our first test uh, here at the Dollar General, about a half mile down the road. It's very successful, very clear, so we're going to pack it up and go a little bit ways down the road. Okay, Roger on that. And Brian, I'll be waiting for your call on the other one, and I'll get back out here and see if I can get you there. WRAY 270. Roger. Whiskey Radio Delta Hotel 605, clear for now. Whiskey Radio Delta Hotel 605 for WRAY 217. WRDH 605, WRAY 217. I got a copy on you, Brian. Roger, you sound uh, good. Probably not as clear as a mile and some change, but uh, you're very copyable. Just a little bit of hiss in the background. Same deal here. Just a little bit of hiss on you, but audio is uh, good and clear. Roger. All right, we're going to go one more station down the road, probably about five, six miles, and then we'll uh, we'll quit testing on the. Uh, we think we'll be able to quit testing on the just the handheld. So uh, stand by. We're going to go down the road uh, another uh, three or four miles. All right, very good. I'll be uh, standing by. WRAY two seventeen clear. Whiskey Radio Delta Hotel six oh five clear. Whiskey Radio Delta Hotel 605 for WRAY 217. Whiskey Radio Delta Hotel 605 for WRAY 217. I think I'll try them one more time. Let me get away from the truck. Whiskey Radio Delta Hotel 605 for WRAY 217. Okay, I think we're at our limit. So this is about seven, eight miles, something like that away. Again, some gently rolling hills, but we got a pretty good distance with these guys uh, just by themselves. Now we're going to switch over to the repeater and we're going to be able to go significantly further down the road for sure. So we're going to see how, uh, how far we can get away with this uh, HT, with this given terrain going west here to hit the repeater, which will then hit uh, the uh, station there where AC4DM is located. So we'll be back at uh, the first repeater location. Whiskey Radio, Delta Hotel, 605, do you copy? Roger. Yeah, with this handheld, uh, we're probably getting pretty close to the uh, the limits. We're at about 20 miles. You're coming in really nice and clear because of the repeater's uh, position, but uh, you come through really well. Uh, Roger, I'm coming through very well. As I said, I'm able to copy you, but uh, you're not exactly holding it up all the time. Or you're in and out a little bit there, so there's always a possibility that uh, could have some... Uh, I 
Yeah, Roger on that. And uh, again, with these handhelds, uh, as far as the, uh, like I said, the antenna and the handheld itself, 20 miles though is pretty good with that repeater in play. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this test. Roger that. Okay, well, I think we're done for today. We have proven that uh, with just the HTs and the antennas, the upgraded antennas, so about seven or eight miles with the uh, variable terrain, but uh, with the repeater, we're getting out to about 20 miles and uh, not as clear on your side, very clear on my side coming through the repeater. So thanks for helping us out with the test. WRDH 605 for WRAY 217. So as we can see, folks, with these uh, BTEC V1s and the repeater, we're at about 20 miles. We're not as a crow flies, but, uh, but we are at much further distance. Uh, maybe not three times the distance, but quite a bit further with these handhelds and this particular antenna combination with the Nagoya. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we're going to head back to the uh, Worldwide Headquarters and we'll wrap up. Alrighty, so let's finish some things up here as we uh, come back out of the cold and into the uh, warm areas <laughs> where we can edit some videos. Um, that was a lot of fun to get out there. It was cold, though, as we were going from one location to the other. And uh, utilizing this repeater, it uh, definitely showed up its worth as we got into the, uh, the last test and even an impromptu test. We'll go over here in just a minute. I've got some... Uh, uh, maps coming up. So the first test that we ran, uh, you'll notice that we're not even, well, we're over half a mile. So I think that's what we said in the video. And that's at the uh, Dollar General back to Worldwide Headquarters. And no problem with the HTs at this distance. And so the next test was, okay, well, how far can we take the H HTs out before we start to lose signal? Or it just really isn't as copyable as it could be. And so that's where we're going to go out a little bit further in our next test here coming up. So now you can see we went out about three and a half miles. Not quite, but pretty close. And it was still very copyable. Now keep in mind, this is rural Kentucky. Some gently rolling hills between uh, where we were and uh, worldwide headquarters. So not uh, a lot of obstructions in our way and certainly not some of the uh, the low mountains that we have in our area getting in the way either and not a problem with this test and this is still HT to HT we're using the Nagoya antenna uh, the last test that we got out to was at about 6.84 miles almost seven miles this is where we started to run into issues and uh, with those HTs with those particular antennas we just weren't able to make connection so uh, or, or just barely as I remember it. And so this was about the extent of the HTs on the various terrain that we happened to be on at that particular moment in time. And again, not a lot of obstructions, rural area, not a lot of power lines, but uh, about seven miles. So now we've moved to the map, which is our first HT to repeater test. Now we on purpose went significantly significantly further than when we dropped off. It was about at seven, eight miles where we dropped off and couldn't reach base anymore with their HT. So we're now utilizing the repeater to communicate with base. And we went, uh, we went almost 21 miles and we were able to make that connection. And that's where the repeater is gonna be extremely helpful. If you get on some of these peaks or in some of the flatter terrain, you're gonna be able to hit this repeater with no problem and still communicate with others in your group. Or if you're doing a search and rescue or what have you. So in this particular example, we were just really chuffed that we were able to go from HT to repeater and to the other HT. Now, as an impromptu test, KY4CKP was driving home and was testing how far out he could hit the repeater uh, in his mobile setup. And uh, as you can see here, 
His last test was successful at about 32 miles. Now that where he is over there on the far top right hand side starts to get mountainous again. And so it's going to be in and out, in and out. But he was able to test it out to about 32 miles. And that's again showing us that we're going to get around 25 miles of coverage in the Lake Cumberland area. If you would like to use our repeater, just drop us a note. We're on mygmrs.com. There's an ask permission uh, email option there. And uh, more than likely, we'll be more than happy to let you give it a go. Folks, I'm KY4BDP Brian, and we hope you liked this particular series. Coming up, yes indeed, we're going to be building another GMRS repeater for the abandoned repeater site using off-the-shelf components. I hope you'll be excited to show, watch us build this repeater in the future. Stay tuned. <laughs>